Hi guys, welcome to this new video and this one is going again to be about erasable notebooks. I discovered them about a year ago and I really really enjoy them for my workplace and so I wanted to show you a new one that I recently bought and I bought this one then I bought the other one in the same color because of that system you see on the side. So, and in this video I will present uh, that system uh, by Escoya and I will also give you a few pieces of advice because I've been using this for about a year, this type of system of erasable notebooks and other advice I can give you as to what to buy, what to, how to clean them, etc. So, let's start with this one. Let me show you everything that I have in this brand, which is called Escoya. So, I first bought this notebook and I bought an A4 size because it was meant for my workplace. And then there was this on the side, which many of you will probably know uh, from the Levenger system, Levenger Circuit Notebooks. And so, they use that system. And I think Levenger also sells a system that allows you to perforate the pages exactly as you want and then to use that kind of system. So this one is with metal discs, the little one is with plastic discs. I really, really prefer the metal ones. Um, because, Especially because in my bag I think that system would be easily broken. And this one, so it has a plastic cover. This one is, let me tell you first, is a bit more expensive than the rest uh, of my erasable notebooks and that probably comes from that system and the overall quality of the uh, notebook. This is meant to be durable. So it's got a strong plastic cover, which has a very nice design. Uh, I chose the, co chose the color pink twice. Uh, I hesitate between this one and the yellow one, but then for my workplace I just thought that was nice. The other side is a regular black cover. It's already It already comes with the uh, little pen holder. It's meant for that pen, but it tends to slip a little. So of course it works with the uh, Stedler Lumocolor, I think it's a 305. Uh, yeah, it's a 305 with a fine tip. I already mentioned in a previous video, I suggest you use fine tip rather than uh, the uh, more average one. It's cleaner. And so, as you can see, this one has full squared pages. These ones have not been used, so they are perfectly clean. And the reason why, well, let me put that aside for a moment. The reason why I love this system, first because it's erasable, of course, but then, okay. Right, let's focus again on this. Okay, the main reason is this one. Here it is, and your pages are out. And then you put them back. So, okay, let me be frank about this. That system will destroy your pages after a while, but as long as it works, it's fairly practical. You just take them out, and you, then you just put them back. It's very, very nice because it's easy to take out, easy to put back. It works perfectly fine then. Right. So I use this to take notes, but I'm not going to show you your notes because they are intimate ones. And that's the way the system works. I'm not particularly a fan of having something to my left as a lefty. But then this is particularly practical, I have found. Right, and this is true for the cover as well, and the back cover as well. Aha! Got focus issues. Whoop, it's focusing here. There we go. Okay. And so that's the A4 size. It comes, of course, in A5, in A6, and also it comes in this little pocket system that is perfect for taking notes, that is perfect for putting in your handbag, that is just perfect for going to the shop. Right, <laughs> so this one is when I went to my doctor to get some painkillers and uh, meds for allergies. Thank you, pollens. And that's a pocket size, right. And then I have to go to the drugstore and it's already written there. So, that would be nice. This is more than a week old. 
let's see how that performs. I'm going to write down on this one and then show you. So let's say uh, I need to buy uh, biscuits and then I also need to buy socks, whatever, and then meat. Right, so if I just write there and I put my finger on it, it's going away and it leaves a smudge. Now this one on top is fine and you can come back on it and you can come back with something else and it won't go away but then you've got the other tip which is felt and with the felt you can erase it and that's it. And that's the system. Now once it's more than a, a week old, that would be two weeks it's sitting there it's a bit harder but it still works. Now my advice on this one is that you use a bit of a magic sponge, that's a magic, magic sponge I think it's called melanin, melanin, I have no idea in English frankly and as you see I've already used it for that purpose it doesn't work very well like this but if you put a bit of water on it it'll take this out fine and then you just use the paper handkerchief and your paper is fine again. Now, I must be honest with you, with time, that system has uh, a few issues. Like for example, this is one I've used a lot. I have no idea whether you can see it properly, but you can see the dents the pen has left on the paper after a while. And also, if your eyes are really good, you can see the smudges of blue uh, that I used on it. All right. If you compare it to a clean page, that's a clean page, and that's my page. And you can see the dents of the writing on the paper. So my advice is do not push too much on your pen, and then be prepared that it has a lifetime limit. It's not one you can use uh, eternally. But it's kind of nice. So, uh, with old pages you also get more of that kind of smudge. Now, if you clean it with just your paper towel, sometimes it doesn't really go away. Then you can use the same thing you use for your hand varnish and it will go away. And it will not distress the paper. The only thing with time with that type of paper is you use water to get it cleaner and be careful that it doesn't go on the sides because the water will push inside then. And that's something they, pre they explain you not to do right. Okay, so I also bought myself this one which is a totally blank white one and that one is meant for work. I'm going to try and prepare my lessons in this one it's a full page and for that one as many teachers I have plenty uh, I need plenty of colors so I want it to be uh, out from the uh, uh, only two options of black and blue which is not something that will catch your eye and then I made a mistake so that mistake will be interesting to you right. I wanted to buy a pack with the red one the green one I'm not too fond of but the red one I wanted so I bought this set and this set says it's the Stedler non-permanent Lumo color but it's a 316 so you've got to be careful with the tip that one you can put on this one but it will be hard work to take to take it away so that one definitely is not the one you want the one you want is the pack with a little felt tips at the end and this one is a 305 and that's not too expensive, it's about 10 euros for the pack of 4. Right, and that's an M size because I couldn't find the uh, F in this pack. So basically you get it in uh, the M size. Right, and so that's it for this one. And finally, also um, from Escoya, I've got the little whiteboard notebook which is a very inexpensive notebook. It's made of four, uh, well, it's four sheets that is basically two A4 pages and 
they are attached together and then it's an A5 little notebook, absolutely perfect for taking notes when I'm in front of the computer and then I can erase them and it's actually very nice. I like that little notebook. It's just useful, I mean it would be perfect in a class frankly for pupils if I had that type of little pen. Though of course they will tend to uh, destroy things a bit quicker than adults but Anyways, that would be nice in school. Also, a little piece of advice. That thing costs a little. It does last a long time. But if you do not want to buy one, then another. So, I didn't mention, but there is one that comes with each notebook that you buy from Eskaya. And If you do not want to buy them anew, and you tend to use only blue or black, I use blue and black a lot, then there is this system. It's called Lumocolor Correctable and it's a refillable system and then I'm not going to show you how it works because that's the black ones and uh, that's one for the blue system but basically you take your pen put it in there and just wait for the ink to uh, go up and that way you can refill them like 20 times so uh, for the price of three pens then you can refill 20 pen 20 times so it's kind of useful. Uh, what else to mention? What do I know about that brand? Right, they say once they were clay tablets. Also there was papyrus, etc, etc. And that's a new tool. Mm -mm. Yeah, reusable white with whiteboard features brought to one's desk. Definitely, that's a very, very pleasant tool. Do I erase and rewrite things many times? So many times I do agree, eternally certainly not, but many times absolutely. Extra easy and fast repositioning of pages, that is the absolute advantage of this one. I really like that system. And I think if you can get the puncher, then you can customize it absolutely how you like it. So basically also if, I think they sell uh, individual individual pages so you can buy graph pages you can have line pages and blank pages and you can create your notebook exactly as you like yeah that's why that's what they say mix and match page types and sizes personalized covers and change rings also the thing with that system is you can add an A5 page in the middle of an A4 notebook that's one thing yeah that means it, it can be a bit more creative water resistant as I mentioned water resistant up to a point, do not put that in your bathtub filled with water, it's not going to work. Only the sides of the pages are a bit more um, susceptible to uh, get water inside. Strong and durable parts, long term product, definitely. You can get them with uh, plastic rings, I do suggest you go for the metal rings, it's a lot better. It folds open to a full 360, of course, with that system. And it saves trees. Well, it saves a few trees. But basically that's paper. And they put a kind of varnish finish on it. And then it gets plastified. But it's not a plastic page. It's actually paper with varnish on it. Right. And that's really a nice system. And I really, really like this. And I really suggest if you like to take uh, exten extensive notes and a few of them you can get rid of then that will be the best system it works perfectly fine well thanks for watching and next time we will um, see um, notebooks from that brand toolboys.co.uk that's a type of funny message notebooks which I really enjoy because they were funny and now to finish my video let me show you two books that might not be that interesting for you either in the UK or in the US. Uh, one is Les Fiancés de l'hiver. So uh, I was strongly advised to read this book by a colleague. She said it was as, page t uh, as much of a page turner as Harry Potter and same kind of vein as Harry Potter. I had had a lot of success in France but probably you will not see this in the US because it's a French author and hardly none gets translated into English. And finally, that huge baby is last year, Dos Santos. And that one you may find, I really, really like that author. 
and I strongly suggest you try. He wrote God's formula, la formule de Dieu, I suppose that's God's formula, and uh, this is um, the king of well-informed thrillers, and it's like scientific thrillers a bit. It's like, they're pretty much like the, a more detailed Da Vinci Code, basically, but it's really nice, and I really enjoyed reading all of his books. He read a book that was called Divine Fury about Islamic terrorism that was pretty nice, pretty nice. Gave me a clear understanding of what terrorism was and what Islamic terrorism was. So uh, that's it for this time. Thanks for watching.